You mentioned Trump. You dealt with a lot of them because you, one of the golf magazines was under your purview. Correct. And, uh, and you rated the golf courses. It was, yes, we did. We had the, 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 like, I think we had the 100 best golf courses in the world, the 20 best new golf courses, best golf courses in America. Donald was extremely interested in these lists. But it was in his attempt to manipulate these lists that I got to know him as a, the bully that he is. He mm -hmm. would just browbeat the report. Well, he would ask them to play golf with him. He would take time, make executives to play golf. And then he would rail against and complain and complain. And how could it be? And then reimagine what he had actually done. And then finally say, well, I'm pulling all the money out unless I mean, I'm advertising. Money. Yes, which is the classic quid pro quo mm -hmm. that he does not involve himself. In. An editor who used to run the Forbes 400 uh, and worked at Vanity Fair, he said, um, and he ran it for like a decade, he said that the, the number one like serial caller about the Forbes 400 was Donald Trump. <laughs> I was always trying to ratchet his number up. Uh, totally. There are people who call and try to ratchet their numbers down, but Trump was number one. Well, he, the other thing, he, is he cheats at golf. That, that does not surprise me. No, it, it, this is funny. Rick Riley, a great sports writer, wrote a, wrote a book. Uh, some of the pieces appeared in Sports Illustrated. So the title is, Who's Your Caddy? And he played with everybody important, including Trump and, and uh, Bill Clinton. The only other cheater in the book, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah. 